Yeah. Project Spark got a 7.5. It's Xbox and PC exclusive. What is it? Project Spark. I have not heard anything about that. I so don't even I know. Say. It doesn't look amazing, but I've never heard anything about it. Fantasia Music Evolved, 8.25, Xbox One and 360 exclusives. Also haven't heard anything about that. Civilization Beyond Earth, 9 PC. Uh, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter, 8 PC. Fantasy Live, 6, 3DS. That's the lowest score I saw. Yeah. After, um... As a whole, Game Informer really doesn't like Nintendo or Sony. It's pretty easy to tell that Microsoft has been paying them off. I mean... And it's really obvious that... Like their reviews about uh, the PlayStation and Xbox One. It's really obvious that uh, Game Informer is like really losing touch on what they can say to promote Xbox. Because look at their sales right now. Yeah, you they still have those stupid Destiny bundles because nobody wants Destiny and nobody wants an Xbox. You can argue all you want about which one is better or which one's not, but when it comes down to it, sells... At the end of the day, sells is what proves the point. And when Xbox is having to give its most expensive system, most expensive bundle with two free games, and it's $70 cheaper than the PlayStation 4... You know they're doing something wrong. Yeah. Proves because originally it was what a hundred dollars more. It was six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's because the uh, oh, and that's because they argued that it's like oh, you need the you need the Xbox I thing, the HAL nine thousand, staring at you while you sleep. Yeah, this is mandatory, connect. integral part of the oh, we'll just take it off and then it'll be a hundred bucks less. Yeah, to pr to match the PlayStation's price, and then no, they they. That's the one with the Connect. That's the six hundred dollar one with two games, and it's on sale for three twenty seven ninety nine. And people still aren't really buying it. No, and they're still not sold out. They're not going to be sold out. Meanwhile, the the only good deal we saw the three ninety nine with the fifty dollar gift card at Walmart. Yeah, unless and you want like Grand Theft Auto or and or um. Last of Us. The Last of Us. Which we if don't. you do want either of those games or both of them, then the that's a pretty good deal to be has, honest. Yeah, even if, if you just wanted to sell one. If you like those games, then it's a great deal. You get two games plus the system for four hundred. And then there was a kitty deal with like Lego Batman and yeah, something else. A uh, little Big Planet three. Ah, almost got that one, but I didn't know if it was download only. Yeah, or like pre-downloaded. Yeah. That little one was on. Big um, Planet has an odd charm about it. Wasn't that Toys R Us though? Uh, yeah. All right, so if you're interested in either of those games, we just let you know Toys R Us have those deals right now. <laughs> but meanwhile, Walmart's got the three ninety nine with the fifty dollar gift card. Besides from buying games that you we realize don't, we're promoting uh, PlayStation on you, on your channel. Is that wrong? No, I'm just saying. I mean, I could tell you where the deals are for Xbox. That doesn't mean they're going to go buy them. Yeah, I, I don't have anything against people who play Xbox. Some of my f good friends were playing only Xbox and still do. But You're still a terrible person if you have... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't really care. It was just never for me. I never liked it. I didn't like You don't how like their company policies. I don't like how underhanded Microsoft is. Yeah. I really don't. I have never liked how underhanded Microsoft You had not a single good thing to say about uh, Rockstar until I got you to play uh, Red Dead Redemption, though. That's because I hate Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. With a passion. And that's their most selling thing, so you don't even know like what else they have. I don't know what else they do besides Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. But I really liked Red Dead. I'm glad you liked it, too. Even though you mostly played it for the DLC. Yeah, Undead Nightmare was so much fun. I loved my horses. I'm so sorry, War. Oh. I killed him so this many times. This has gotten so far off topic, it's not really funny. I think it's funny. Well, I guess it's But I think, I think the, the bulk of the matter is... Is basically Game Informer is paid off by Microsoft and paid off by everybody to bash old gen consoles. And I don't know why. Or last gen, not old. Yeah. And it's like, you can't say anything bad to GameStop. 
or Game Informer. They're basically the same thing. Can't say anything bad to them because they won't listen. That's why I wanted to make this video. I I kind of got away from it, but this whole thing was supposed to be an apology to 2K Australia because you didn't deserve what that article said. I don't know what like IGN has said or whatever. Uh, they said it was pretty good. IGN, if I remember, yeah, they had a pretty decent and fair review on it. It wasn't just oh, it was pretty low. It was like a horrible. seven point five, but they didn't it was say a 7. such 8. awful. Five, I think. Yeah, they didn't say awful things about it like that, though. They were fair in what they said. I didn't think their but then score... then again, who really believes IGN anyway? <laughs> I, I didn't mean, think their score really represented what they said, IGN though. IGN is probably the most notorious paid-off uh, website for video games I've ever heard of. Who do you think would lie to you less, Game Informer or IGN? I think IGN would lie to you less but still give something a low score because they have to give a higher score to something, to something else. that they were paid to put there. Mm. Which, uh, whereas um, Game Informer will just flat out lie to you about games. Yeah. And they even contradict themselves, I don't know how many times in their reviews. There's something that's always irked Anybody me that I think I'll just take point their out. Staff seriously is has some serious issues. Let's just put it that way. I'm just on the topic of, of Game Informer right now. They always have this section when they take um, their newsletters from people. Yeah. Like they, they get fan mail. There is this section called Candid Photos from the Video Game Industry. Most people don't know this, but I did because I took photography in high school. Yeah. A candid photo is a photo that you take when someone is not aware that you were taking a picture of them. And they're all smiling and posing. Yeah. If you go back through every one of your game informers, or you, you go to a friend's house and you find one, or you look at the ones that they have at GameStop, and you go to the candid photos of the video games industry, every single one of them has someone that is aware of being, like, they're having a photo taken, a picture of them. Yeah. So, that's just something that's always e uh, well, emailed. Well, anybody always who irked me. grew up in the 90s and knew what candid camera was could tell you that oh candid means that they don't they're not aware they're being recorded or taken a picture of I actually got to watch that show as a kid well you were born in 93 yeah but they were mostly reruns well yeah but my point is smile you're on candid camera please don't do that <laughs> But that was just something else that really annoyed me. Their blatant ignorance. It's like, you can change that at any point in time. It's not like it's important to people that the two or three pictures at the bottom of your page say candid because it is, like, it's not like changing the name of your magazine. I think they just enjoy lying to people. They want to see how stupid people are? I guess. I don't know. I don't or know maybe either. they really are just that incompetent. I to suppose. be honest, it would not put me past it. But that article alone, I haven't even read the rest of this Game Informer, really. I've glanced through it. But that article alone has convinced me to cancel my subscription. Yeah. I, it's next unfair. Time we go in there, we really need to have it canceled. Yeah. I, I don't mind having the Power Up Rewards card, but don't send me a magazine that I'm just going to burn. It wasn't mandatory. They asked if I wanted it, and I was like, oh, cool, yeah, I could. I'd rather just get, like, PC Gamer or something. I'd rather just go buy, like... They uh, have a PlayStation Game 3 Pro one. Or... I don't know what it is, but they have a PlayStation 3 magazine. Well, they've always had a PlayStation magazine since the original. It used to come with a demo disc of, like, whatever new games that they had coming out. It was pretty cool, actually. They still might. I don't think they do that anymore. It might Mainly be... because every new game you could just log online and get the demo of. They don't yeah. need to put it on disc anymore. Imagine having a collection of those demos, though. Those must be pretty I valuable. Do. I have 10 or 15 of them still. That's pretty cool. You've got, like, one of the coolest collections. Besides from those lucky people that have, like, a whole garage filled with video games. like Well, those people generally go back and buy them, like, now. And you just keep them. Yeah, I, I've always... You have useless junk. You have socks with holes in them that you don't wear. And you won't let me get rid of them. That's not true. You threw a pair of socks away the other day. A single pair. Shut up. 
but you do have a lot of really cool things that are old. But that has basically nothing to do with so what we're talking about. So you're saying I'm old now? No. Wow. No. That's that's messed up. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. You're not old. Um, but yeah, I'm <sighs> canceling my GameStop or Game Informer. I'm tired of the inconsistencies. If I, I wanted to be lied to constantly, I'd go buy an Xbox. Rem oh, I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Um, I think it was last year where they did the the Games of the Year, and uh, um. Yeah. Uh, Tales of Graces F wasn't on it. I don't think that was last year because it didn't come out last year. I don't remember which year it was then, but there was it was on one of the the writers, one of the people's that worked there's favorite games of the year. Uh huh. But it wasn't on the list because um, what was it? I don't know. It was the. That game that you have like a red poncho and you run around and do nothing and it's supposed to be one of those spiritual kind of games. It got the best of PS3. I don't remember what it was. Journey. It was Journey. Really? Journey got best of PS3 for that year. The same year that Tales of Graces F came out. I... I told you about that and I you just... I don't know what to say about that. It was just dumb. It may have been so horrible it blinked from my mind in general. That's perfectly logical. I thought I was going to cancel after that, but I didn't. Oh, and then remember their um their top 20 of horror games? Oh, God. Remember what, what wasn't at number one? Silent Hill? Yep. What was it, number one? Do you remember? It was the original Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. Which was not the scary. The original than Resident Hill. Evil was not scary. Not in comparison to Silent Hill. Not at all. Yeah. I mean, really. It, Resident Evil, the original, or the director's cut anyway, was a pretty good game. But it was not the, the best horror game. I think they said it was the best horror game based on what it did to the genre. Well, I think look Silent at what Hill Resident Evil did to the genre now. Yeah, I don't. And I don't it, think anybody's saying how great it is anymore. They had two Resident Evil games on that list, and only one Silent Hill. I think did it was they? Silent Hill Two. I thought they had the first and second one on there. I don't remember. What well, What's important well, maybe is that they, they didn't want to put it on there because they already had one, but then they put two Resident Evils. Yeah. Oh, and the time that they put uh what. I don't know, maybe that was a different list I was thinking about. What are you talking about, though? N it's not important. It oh. was something else. It was uh, from John Tron. Ah. Uh, I was thinking of something from... I was uh, thinking about when he put... Uh, what, was it all three Donkey Kongs on his top 20 games of all time? Yeah, he did. <laughs> that was kind of... He didn't have any real Mega Man games on there, but I don't think he played them, to be honest. It might have been too hard for John Tron. I mean, and if you're going to say that... Oh, Resident Evil was a good horror game, then a game with horror aspects should also apply, like Castlevania or something. I mean, none of those were on there. But they had, like, Manhunt and... Yeah, I I, I don't understand the people... And they didn't even specify the best horror games of, like, our childhood. No, they just said of all time. Yeah, so, like, that, that one where you first start playing, like, a psychotic killer. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what else to say about it, but I don't really trust their opinions anymore. I kind of read it for the news aspect, but if they're just going to be that blatantly unfair, I don't even want to bother. Yeah. I mean, I could get all this information for free by going on IGN's website. Or just by looking up games in general. Well, I want to know what specific game to look at. I remember there was one called, like, Chasm that looked kind of cool. It, it was talking about having a, a Metroidvania gameplay well, you style. you could just as easily look up uh, upcoming game lists for this month or next month. Whichever particular month you're uh, looking up. Yeah. But, yeah. GameStop is just... Or not GameStop, but... Game Informer. It's so hard to distinguish them because GameStop lies it's to you, It's easy to mix them up because they do the same thing. You know the GameStop credit card? Oh, God, don't. Please don't. I don't want to be here for another two hours. That's that's fair enough. 
Don't get the GameStop credit card. Just don't do it. I mean, if you're going to get it for the points, do it and then just quit immediately. You don't want to get wrapped up in that. That's my final advice. Um, oh, and if you have a game coming out, don't count on them to call you. <laughs> yeah. We ended up having to cancel uh, our Pokemon Ruby and uh, Sapphire. But Walmart came through us uh, came through for us again because by giving little miniature figures with them. Call us, did not email us, did not anything. Yeah. The I last know. time they did that, I went in to pick the game up, and they're like, "Oh, well, it, it doesn't come out till next week. Why didn't you email or call me about that then?" Wasn't that when uh, we went yeah. to go pick up Senran Kagura and the pre sequel? No, it's when I went to pick up uh, Senran Kagura, Sen Shinobi Versus. Yeah, but Senran Kagura and the pre sequel is supposed to come out at the same time. No. Oh. Senran Kagura was supposed to come out a week before that. Oh! So, and that's bought, why we picked them up at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. We had to pick them up at the same time. Because they're like, oh, no, it's not coming out until next week. I'm like, oh. Thanks for telling me, you jackass. Yeah, I walked all the way over there because I missed the bus. And that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> that did suck. Not only that, but I ended up waiting at a bus stop for I don't know how long. But I didn't get home for like two hours walking over there. And that was horrible. All because they don't fucking call you. Apparently. And it's all Game Informer's fault. Um. What? <laughs> I was just trying to close off back on Game Informer. Oh, yeah. Screw those guys. <laughs> Screw those guys! <laughs> But, yeah. Well, I, I don't really... Well, I do have a lot more to complain about, but uh, I'm not going to. Maybe but if I this could. video gets popular enough, but then I'm not going to. we'll make it a regular thing to just whine about Game Informer. <laughs> wow. Heck, I could read the whole thing. Please don't. On a video. Well, or on a live stream. Is it copywritten to read magazines? No, you're doing it for uh, commentary Satirical and research purposes. Porpoises. Poipuses. Poipuses. Porpoises. So. Dolphinately. For, for sharks. sharks. <laughs> so uh, for that aspect of it, no, it is not copywritten. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave off there. Um. Thank you for listening. Sorry, it got really long, but we just kind of got on a string of things. And again, 2K, I'm really sorry you had to deal with this. I know this game meant something to you, and I I recognize the hard work that you put into it. Yeah, it might have the the high res low loading problem. It might have other problems, but you didn't deserve to be bashed like that. And that score didn't even really accurately display how he felt about it. So I don't even know why they bother scoring anything. Yeah. But I'm sorry that that happened. I felt like I needed to apolog apologize to you on behalf of what that said. Like I said, I don't know what everyone else has said, but that was bad enough. Yeah. I needed I to get it off that. my chest, and I wanted to share it with everybody else. That said, the game is really quite good. If Don't worry about playing it single player or multiplayer. It's fun either way. Yeah. If you've I got people to play with, then go right ahead. If you don't, well then enjoy the game because it's it's a fun game if you like games where you have where you can collect a lot of things that you can make your character better then go right ahead and there's always the option to buy it used because yeah. uh, GameStop has a deal where if you return a game within a week uh, if you buy a used game and return it a week later you get a full within refund a on it later. so you can buy a used game and then play it and see if you like it and then you can go buy a brand new one if you do that's what we did with uh, Diablo we yeah, bought and played Diablo, Diablo 3. 3 for a week, and then uh, Reaper of Souls was coming out a little bit later. So just pre-order that. Yeah. It is also a really fun game. Play uh, play Diablo 3. Reaper of Souls. It's if awesome. you like that sort of game. If you like that sort of game. If you like Borderlands, play Borderlands. In the end, like you can always take um, reviews personally, but you don't always have to let them stop you from at least looking looking at a game. If you have the opportunity to look at something that you think you might like, you should go ahead and just look at it. It won't really hurt you. 
Um, so I think that's more than enough. I'm going to end it here. And um, I I don't really know what to do. Should we burn this? Do we have somewhere we can? Um, there are a few um, grills outside that are public use. Maybe we'll burn it. I don't know. But uh, I'll catch up with you guys next Maybe time. Maybe we should wait to do that to see if uh, people want to hear more rants. How about the particular? Cool. Maybe. I have a whole bunch of Game Informers right there. That makes a nice kindling. Oh, you can do a monthly thing. Yeah, that'd be worth it. Keeping my subscription if I could, like, get some views off of it. Hey, if somebody can find it entertaining. I mean, it is pretty laughable. It's... it's you gotta, you gotta give them that. It's, it's good for a laugh. At least the covers are pretty, so they look nice on a shelf. If you're not the type of person to get offended easily, they're, a, they're a good read for comic relief. Yeah. But if you try to look for them from an actual gamer point of view, don't bother. Yeah. You're just gonna make yourself angry. It, they're not really something to trust. Has GameStop ever been something to trust? Um, I kind of uh, listen to their when they have um, footage on games that haven't come out yet, like when they had Bloodborne. We need to go! With this video has been going on All too right. long. So, um, goodbye everybody! I'm gonna stop recording before I keep rambling on. Do you want to say anything? Uh, I would, but we'd probably keep going. Okay. Well, just say something motivational. Shoot for the star, or shoot for the moon, something, 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 stars. You didn't even say it right. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss something, something, stars. Well, I didn't exactly want to copy Jack. Which is a okay. lot like my quote. I think they stole it. Goodbye, everybody.